Okay, hello everybody. I got in a little bit early sa Clash Studio because I wanted to give uh, medyo a lengthier Clash report sa first round ng top 10 natin. So I'm here sa studio. This is what it looks like. Kung kayo lang mag-isa, I'm going to try to be as gentle as possible with the camera. Andiyan ang stage. No one is here yet. This is our little table. Okay, so we have like a little monitor there. And we have our very special mug here. Alright. So we're gonna go first to the first round ng top 10. Okay. Ang first na kumanta ay si Fritzy. Ang kinanta niya ay Say Something. Right? Say something, I'm giving up on you, Christina Aguilera. And, uh, nagtataka nga ako kung paano niya mabibigyan ng ibang flavor to. But uh, she did very well. Siya ang nag-volunteer as well to be the first. So that means na she's confident, right? Ang nangyari, every time kasi, uh, the Clasher performs. Pinapakita yung uh, VTR or parang a video interview. Most of the time, it is very dramatic. And most of the time, lahat ng mga Clashers nagiging dramatic. So it can help kasi it can give you the emotion that you need or it can distract you totally. Kasi if you're not used to uh, taking control of your emotions before performing, mahirap ako kumanta. Ako, honestly, minsan, uh, nahirapan ako kumanta kapag uh, masyado kong uh, emotional. Minsan may crap, ganyan. Pero since this is a contest, you know, they have to do well. The arrangement was good according to my notes. I have my notebook here, right? Na-control naman yung emotions niya uh, mostly. Meron lang mga times sa feeling ko nag-take over yung emotions. Pero, she did very well. And parang na-blend niya yung uh, control of emotion, technicality, and at the same time, being vulnerable. So, I think nagawa niya yun. Okay, going to Shannon. Okay, eto naman yung the other side. Ang kinat niya is can't take that away. Initially pa lang, nung nakita namin yung song, mahirap itong song na to. Kasi octaves to eh. Merong very low, merong very high. Pero, um, I uh, commend her bravery to really try uh, something different, something new. Unfortunately, yung emotions, because also I think of the interviews of VTR, took over. I don't know also kung because narinig niya si Fritzy sing first, pero nahirapan siya kumanta and I think she started shaking and at crying a little bit. Uh, I just want also to tell her now, she is a singer already, okay? And you have shown the world na kaya mo mag top 10, you know? So you are a singer. Don't let other people uh, uh, put you down. It just so happened that maybe it was an off day. Or it just so happens that maybe uh, you are meant for a different kind of stage. Maybe the radio stage, maybe the recording stage, you know? But uh, to make it this far is very, very good. So, but because na take over nga yung, uh, nag take over yung emotion, Shannon unfortunately did not do so well. And mapapunta siya sa lower two. Okay? I told her naman na she still has a chance to recover kasi nga if you go to the lower two, may isa pang laban. Let's go to Shimi. Alright? Kinanta niya, you'll never walk alone. You'll never walk alone. I didn't realize na she had uh, performed in Jakarta pala. So that was a challenge for her. So pero naisip ko rin. So now, meron ka na dapat contest experience as well. And at the same time, international pa. Right? Um, sabi niya na meron siya mga natutunan do sa contest na yun. Pero nung kumanta nga siya, uh, meron mga flats ng konte sa kadapat yung mga stanzas sorry reading from my notebook 
she should take care of the note sa stanza. She should also give importance sa stanza. Hindi lang lagi sa biret, hindi lang lagi sa uh, chorus. Kasi importante din ang uh, stanza. So, uh, medyo hindi masyado clean yung performance niya. And that's why uh, napunta rin siya sa bottom 2. Si Yuri naman, uh, it was a very clean performance. I felt lang na it was a very safe performance. I don't know kung strategy niya kasi narinig niya niya si Shannon at si Shimi na medyo delikado. So, naging safe na lang siya. So, kinanta niya yung diamond. I would respect the strategy, obviously. She sang it cleanly. Pero yun nga, parang I wish na she risked a little or she showed off a little. Kasi di ba yung ibang performance siya dati talagang yung meron isang performance kung makikita niyo wala siyang sapato. She was all over the stage, all emotion, pure, raw performance. So I think uh, I was expecting that pero iniba niya yung style niya or strategy. But she got uh, in, right? Naging safe naman siya. Si Jenny naman. Si Jenny sang Titanium. Alright? So, tinry niya na mag-veer away sa medyo operatic or classical, ganyan. Pero yun nga, I admire na she's trying to be different. Pero, kailangan ma-perfect mo rin somehow or even close yung pag-try mo ng ibang genre. Kasi medyo na-feel ko nga personally na medyo wala pa siya dun sa comfortability dun sa genre na yun. Comfortable. Dati ang pagsabi ko ng comfortable is comfortable. Pero if you read up, I think it's comfortable pala. Alright, so she has to focus on that. Um, kung mag-attempt ka ng different genres, talagang really practice to be comfortable. Uh, nagbo-vocal, napansin ko before VTR nagbo-vocalize din siya maybe to distract herself from the drama but I guess it worked you know so hindi ko lang ito nasabi pero meron siyang isang word na dapat shoot dapat ang pagsabi is shoot pero yung ending niya ang ganda napakaganda ng ending so now we're gonna go to uh, material matibay ang lowest two na napili is Shannon and Shin mga sh the Shingers The Shannon and Shin Shingers Alright Kinanta ni Shannon ay Superwoman Ang kinanta ni Shimi Sana maulit Alright right. Sa tingin ko Doon kay Shannon Medyo wrong uh, Song choice Sana meron pa siyang Either rearrangement Ng Superwoman Or iba pang song Para mas uh, Lumabas pa yung kanyang uh, uh, Good qualities or parang panlaban na vibe, you know? Um, it was an okay performance. Kaya lang na-overshadow ng uh, performance ni Shimi na sana maulit muli. Which also I think needed more power kasi meron pa rin mga flat at meron mga uh, belt na medyo kinapost ng konti. Pero mas nag-stand out yung sana maulit muli. And so, she is safe again. We wish uh, Shannon well. She has proven that uh, she has what it takes to be one of the top 10. Uh, she has a future ahead of her for all her supporters. Uh, please be there for her, you know. And for all the supporters naman ng uh, naligtas sa top 10, I think magiging top 8, 6, 5, parang ganun yata. Uh, please continue uh, your support para sa remaining clashers who are here. So yeah, that is my fuller clash report for that uh, episode. And uh, thank you for following it. Uh, more to come. So please continue watching The Clash Season 3. See you!